How many more victims have to be raped or attacked for us to wake up? Four asylum seeker boys from Afghanistan have been arrested on suspicion of raping a 15-year-old girl at a school in Kent. They apparently came here last year on boats and are aged between 13 and 16. If it turns out they are guilty, then those who allowed them into the country or didn't send them straight back when they got here are partly responsible for this. The situation is made worse by those on the left, like this guy, who argue we should be letting in as many Afghans as want to come here. This is an opportunity for us to divest from American power, accept the fact the age of pith helmets has gone, move away from the mythology of global Britain and become a sensible, normal country and play an even-handed role in the world. And the first thing we can do to do that is to save as many people as we can, to let as many Afghans who want to come here and can get out come here. These people are in dire, dire situation because of us, because of us. The scenes of crowds of people running alongside a military cargo plane will become the defining images of the era. I'm not saying a lot of what he says isn't true, but the answer absolutely cannot be important out of Afghanistan into Britain. It's outrageous to even suggest it. A strong argument can be made for some of those Afghans who work for the British Army to be allowed here. I'll admit that. But the rest, no chance. But these people aren't interested in debate or discussion. And they certainly aren't interested in the negative consequences that kind of apocalyptic immigration would surely mean for us. Doesn't matter how many crimes get committed or how many women are raped and attacked. They couldn't care less. They'll just turn a blind eye to it. They are only interested in their left wing agenda come hell or high water. And that's it. <clears throat> Victims are just collateral. And because their politics is authoritarian by nature, they will happily force these changes on a population who does not want it. I was going to say how disturbing this attack was because of the age of those arrested, but I can't be sure if that is their real age, thinking about it now. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if they turned out to be men in their 20s or even 30s. Remember this so-called boy coming here as a child? Absolutely laughable. We know that a large part of the media has a woke agenda, so they deliberately hide the facts of these crimes and the people responsible. It's hard to know what is true or not. The whole goddamn mess is disturbing. The left-wing media can lie and deceive all it wants, but the people won't be deceived. Afghanistan is a country where violence and rape against women is widespread and often goes unpunished. That's according to the United Nations, not me. That means negative attitudes and beliefs towards women are no doubt widespread. If you suddenly take loads of Afghan boys and men who have those attitudes and place them in England, you import those attitudes too. It doesn't take Einstein to work that out. It's utterly delusional to think they all come to Britain and suddenly become like us. They couldn't care less about our laws and customs. And that's partly because we live in a weak, pathetic country that doesn't stand up for its own customs and culture. Not sure we even know what they are anymore. They've been deliberately diluted and attacked. These people are free to come here and do what they want. We haven't the guts to say our country, our laws, obey them or leave. I always hear the argument that they are loads of rapists and criminals here. So we can't complain when immigrants come here and commit these crimes. Utter nonsense. To say because we already have rapists and criminals here justifies importing more is one of the most deranged arguments I've heard. It justifies the exact opposite. We shouldn't be importing more because we already have enough. Obviously, not all asylum seekers are criminals and rapists, but I believe enough have those disturbing attitudes for us to be very wary of what is allowed here. Our citizens come first, I'm afraid, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Those that come on boats have come here illegally from countries with worldviews often incompatible with ours. On top of that, if they have no documents and we have no idea of knowing anything about them or their backgrounds, then we are well within our rights to refuse entry into the country. The idea that anyone and everyone is allowed to come here, no questions asked, and those who do commit offences should be arrested and put in jail is utterly insane. If they weren't here in the first place, they aren't in a position to commit any crimes. 
Britain is not the Middle East and there is no reason to import massive numbers of people from those countries. It absolutely is not in the interests of this country or its people.